It's been a lot of people ask, how can I use my Infed half wave 80 through 10 antenna on the upper portion of the 75 meter foam band? My uh, automatic antenna tuner in the rig is not capable of tuning an SWR that high. Of course, the reason they designed these antennas uh, to be resonant in the low end of the CW band was because they wanted to work on the the next higher band and the next higher band. And well, every time you go up, you multiply your frequency times two until you get to the point where you're just totally out of the band. So they made it resonant down around 3.5 megahertz or so. And that kind of makes it rough trying to operate on uh, 75 meters. So what you can do is simply uh, insert a capacitor at the high current point on the antenna for 75 meters. And uh, the way to find that is to simply take the antenna down and fold it in half and cut the wire right in the middle. And that's what we did here. And we installed a small insulator at the cut and put a capacitor across the insulator and that capacitor electrically shortens the antenna but only on 75 meters. Uh, the rest of the bands it has virtually no effect whatsoever. So this uh, can be depicted here in a schematic form. Uh, down here we have our transformer and 67 feet to the capacitor and 67 feet to the far end. And I actually installed this and it does work. You'll find that the SWR is low across 40 meters. On 80 meters it's um, typically about one and a half to one at the lowest point and Usually by the time that you get up to about 3650 or so, your SWR gets pretty high. And by the time you get to the phone band, it gets really high. So we installed this capacitor. Uh, this is a 500 picofarad. And the lower the value, the lower the capacitance of this capacitor will equal the higher in frequency that it resonates on 75 meters. And again, the rest of the bands won't be affected. So let's say we put this capacitor in line and it resonates at 3.7, uh, 3 then we could try a 250 picofarad and it would resonate maybe at 3.9 or so. So you can play with this value. Uh, you can make it uh, 750 picofarad and it may drop it down to about 3600. <clears throat> so uh, it's not critical. I would suggest buying uh, s several values and trying them and see where your antenna works out best. Uh, the voltage rating I would go ahead and get um, at least a thousand and just to be safe just go ahead and get a high value like like four, five, or six thousand volt capacitor, and that way you won't have to worry about it. Uh, for real low power, then it's not really an issue. So uh, here's the rig. We're on uh, uh, we're on 75 meters, and uh, no tuner that is engaged. And I'm going to hit the key, and you can see here, SWR is about 1.7, and uh, let me um, try to uh, keep the key closed and tune around here a little bit. And as you can see, we're going up to about, this is 3,900, so you're up to 2 to 1. And then go down right to, well, let's see, we can go all the way down here to, uh, to 3,600. And it starts to go back up. So that is with the um, 500 picofarad capacitor. And before we had to be way down 3.520 or something like that. So for a lot of you guys that's going to 
uh, make the foam band usable on uh, on 80 meters and again let's go up to 40 meters and key it see your SWR down here in the CW part of the band is very low let's slide up here and it looks like it's dipping right there at about 7100 and so you can easily cover the entire band and your internal tuner should be able to take care of uh, minor SWR variations like that so there you go thanks for watching